Hey guys, so as I was checking the mail today, I saw this caterpillar and it got me thinking about limiting beliefs. So I picked up the caterpillar on the envelope and did a little demonstration for you. I'm going to represent subconscious limiting beliefs. This caterpillar is going to represent you and the envelope is going to be a symbol for life. So as you can see, no matter which way the caterpillar turned, left, right, forward, backward, it could not get off of the envelope. It just kept going around in circles. If I I turned the envelope this way, it turned that way. If I turned it that way, it turned it this way. And I was essentially controlling its behaviors. And even though no matter which way it turned, it just kept going in cycles and could never reach its ultimate goal. And it was unaware of how me, its limiting beliefs, was actually controlling the direction of which way the caterpillar was going. So how does this relate to our lives as human beings? Well, our limiting beliefs are just the same way. They sit just below our subconscious awareness and they control 95% percent of our behaviors so no matter how much you say oh I want this or I want that if you don't identify and heal your limiting beliefs you're just going to keep going in the same cycles our limiting beliefs controls our professional lives our personal lives our financial lives every area of life we have a set of limiting beliefs that dictates our behaviors and how we interact with the world so how do we break free from this cycle so that we can ultimately live our dream lives and achieve our goals well, one, we must identify our own personal limiting beliefs. Two, we must identify the root cause of where those limiting beliefs stem from. And three, we must do the work. We have to heal from our limiting beliefs so that we control how they show up in our lives. They never go away, but we can do a little bit more of the controlling so that we can live our first class lives.